Hello, 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 everybody. Today we are going to be drawing Gobby Mario the Empty. The anime for Hell's Paradise got announced a couple weeks ago by MAPPA, so I figured I'd go ahead and do an illustration for y'all. But first, I want to point out something. We are at 67 subs. In the first week of 2022, we managed to gain more than the entirety of 2021. So, I would like to thank you all for your support. It means the absolute world to me. And if you have not subscribed yet, do it. Some of you may be saying to yourself, wow, this guy must be a super fan if he's uploading this right after the first episode of the second half of the final season of Attack on Titan just aired. Now the truth of the matter is, I've only read a couple of chapters, and this is by design. See, I understand the value of animation. And I totally didn't find out about this five days ago. Speaking of five days ago, I recently saw our favorite web shooting teenage crime fighter. I'm of course talking about Spider-Man which combines 20 years of nostalgia with the budget of the MCU. You, you guys ever think about how ridiculous the number of IPs Disney owns is? I mean, these guys own Marvel, Star Wars, and... Nat Geo. What the fuck? I hate to say it, guys, but I have a feeling our corporate overlords are getting closer and closer to finally getting rid of this glitch in the system we call freedom. You know, the concentration of power is getting stronger, and who knows how many of our rights are getting constantly- Hey yo! Let's ignore the ecstasy I feel when my $50 in my retirement account grows 20%. Getting back to the drawing, some of you may be able to notice that I'm using pretty old tools right here. I'm using a uh, combination of two dip pens, and honestly guys, I'm a little bit rusty, you know? Uh, I haven't used these tools in a while, and in the end, I, I'm probably gonna have to go in and fix this up digitally. You know, talking about the previous video, I would felt I went into a little bit too much detail before I even put the final pencils down. And I feel like in this one, I kind, I kind of went the other way, you know what I mean? Like, I did not, I really didn't have enough structure to go in with the ink to begin with. So, for this one, I think from now on, I'm, I'm really going to try and use more solid pencils before I even go in with ink. Because, honestly, finished pencils, you could still adjust so much while you're doing that. But finished inks, you're kind of committed from that point on. You know, ever since I became an adult, I've always wondered what it meant to be a man. Especially in today's society where, you know, gender norms are always getting challenged and dismantled. Growing up, my brother and my father, you know, they would always take their coffee black or just with a splash of creamer. And I'll be honest with you guys, I always hated the taste of black coffee, bro. I would, I would prefer to subdue it with a fair amount of cream and sugar. And, you know, this combined with, like, ice, I thought was my favorite drink. This, however, created an issue when Dunkin' Donuts released their collab with Charlie D'Amelio. You see, I'm no coward, and I have no problem asking for what I want. Speaking of which, do you guys know you could hit the like button right now? It pushes the video out further and really helps me out. So I had no issue ordering my large hazelnut iced coffee, light on the ice. Although, I just couldn't bring myself to ask for everybody's favorite TikTok influencer drink. You know, the name really just got to me. It sounds like two overpopular, self-absorbed teenagers came up with it. Oh. Anyways, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I couldn't ask for the Charlie D'Amelio superstar TikTok entrepreneur drink. This really is a problem, because that drink is everything I want in a coffee. It's sweet, creamy, cold, covered in some wacky foam. Obviously, a conflict as important as this couldn't just be left alone. I got down to thinking. Am I really going to make my adulthood about pretending to enjoy subpar goods? Am I going to be drinking black coffee and eating kale salads till the day I die? No. I'm going to be the type of person that goes after what they want. I'm not going to stop chasing my dreams. I'm going to go into that Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to walk up to the attractive waiter. And I'm going to go, hey, let me get the Charlie in a large. Let's get off Charlie D'Amelio for a second. Uh, let's just let's just talk about the show. Uh, I have pretty high hopes. MAPPA has consistently been putting out good work. I mean, just look at the lineup they have right now. I, I already know those animators are going to need some uh, safety nets outside of their place of work, if you know what I mean. Those poor, poor children. You know, I recently saw an animator's react video of uh, My Hero Academia. And in it, they brought up this term called line mileage. Now, I don't know if that's a made-up term or not, but what it talks about is basically how much you need to draw to get the 
frame done. And I thought, I feel like moving forward, I'm really going to try and apply this kind of simplified, you know, really make sure my time counts um, towards my drawing. Because, guys, with this semester coming up, I'm going to be slammed. Uh, I'm not planning on slowing down the content, which means, obviously, I'm going to have to adapt. So it's going to be a unique challenge to um, really get the content good enough for you guys while still um, having time to actually do my schoolwork, you know what I mean? Here's what this is really going to require. I'm going to need to think about my piece before my pencil even meets the page. So what this entails is doing a quick little thumbnail, just making sure I got everything mapped out before I even start drawing the actual piece itself. I used to do this, guys. Um, I, I don't know if it was, you know, sheer laziness or forgetfulness, but eventually I kind of phased it out because I, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. But what it really helps you with is saving time in constructing the figure so it actually works and makes sense. Because if it makes sense on a tiny piece, on a tiny box, it's going to make sense on your canvas. And you have all the space in the world to flush it out with detail. But really, you just got to make sure that the figure itself works really well. My resolution for 2022 might surprise you guys. This year, I'm really trying to be a lot better scheduled. Now, uh, the main reason I need to do this is just because a lot of the times I'm quite forgetful. I can't tell you how many times throughout the day I just get up, walk into the kitchen, open the fridge, and completely forget why I was there. I mean, why else would I be in the kitchen besides to eat something? But there's no way in hell I wanted to handle raw chicken breasts and spend 20 minutes cooking when I have an assignment due in 30. What this stems from is the fact that throughout my entire schooling, uh, I haven't necessarily been the most scholarly person. Uh, for the past 18 years, I've had a strict policy of finishing the work the day it's due. Um, you know, I could have an assignment due in seventh period, and I do it in my lunch break. Oh, uh, I have to edit a group project, and it's due at 7.45 in the morning? I better stay up for five hours not doing anything and then get cram it all in the last three hours before school starts, right? You know, I'm not a dumb person. Ever since I had to start paying for school, it's it's been a lot different. But when I have to do work I'm really dreading, I will find any reason not to do it. You know, I, I'll, I'll deep clean my room, I'll, I'll cook for my family, maybe I'll edit a YouTube video. Hey, as long as I don't gotta read pages 114 to 137 of TKM, I'm good. However, this past year, I've been a lot better at staying on track and getting my work done. And you guys want to know what the secret is? You guys are going to like this. You have to lie to yourself. You got to say, hey, maybe this calculus is going to help me run my business. Hey, maybe this uh, English essay is going to help me, you know, write a script for a comic or something. You know what I mean? You really just have to find how this work applies to you and how it benefits you. And it's truthfully a struggle, guys. But the truth is you just got to go in, get the work done, and you'll feel better about yourself. See that part right there? That was the lie. Don't get me wrong, guys. Another important thing is to, you know, really s schedule your life around school a lot better. You know, make sure you give yourself a lot of extra leeway on your time estimates. You know, I, I heard this, uh, however long you think it's going to take, double it for your time estimate to get something done. So getting uh, myself extra time really does help with schoolwork, too. And especially with, uh, you know, getting the video edit done. I I've really been trying to do that in advance, too. Um... For those of you who don't know, editing this video, I, I'm super slow at editing, you know what I mean? I, it, it's mainly a skill issue, and I hope to improve in time. Because, uh, guys, if, if, I don't, if I don't improve, I, I gotta hire somebody else to do this, because, <laughs> Jesus, this takes forever. Now we're nearing the end of this video, and I just want to thank you all for watching this far. Uh, means the world to me. I already, I already said, you know, do the stuff that helps the video out. You guys know what it is by now. Um, I... Released a video of me drawing Bane last week. Uh, I, I'm trying to get better with every upload, guys. So I, I'll i recommend whatever I uploaded last. You know what I mean? Uh, I should be back next Monday, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern. So see you guys then.